So this time, I'm going to put the heavy stuff at the bottom. Frozen ice. Fruits. Quite big chunks. Doing it the other way, just didn't get that. It took ages for the spinach to mix in. So, but we're going to throw a little bit of yogurt on top of that spinach just to give it a bit of. I'm still going to add a little bit of water. Just to keep it consistent with that last ingredients, except there's no avocado. So make that click. Extract. Okay, so that's like 10 seconds, <laughs> way better. Definitely don't put your light stuff in the top. Because you flip it over, you gotta remember. So, same, pretty much same consistency. A little bit lumpier, probably because I didn't run it for, didn't run it for uh, two minutes like last time. Yeah, there's still some lumps in there. Let's give it another bit of a whirl. That was me spilling, not leaking. Yeah, so that extract mode is pretty good. Just sort of, it's like a automatic pulsing every now and then. Get some stuff dropping down the bottom, mixing around. I would definitely use that as my go-to. Yeah, still some lumps in there. Probably because I maybe put a bit more water in consistency-wise compared to last time. definitely more lumps in there maybe it's just a matter of running it for a couple of minutes but hey it does the job it looks pretty good it's good to have these I guess carry vests or you could just like put the lid on chuck it in the fridge use it later I wouldn't really take it out of the house um, and, and that goes for both of them so just different sizes you can make it in the morning put your lids on whatever you'd have to drink it in probably the next 12 hours or six hours but you could make it and when your family wakes up it's all ready to go so let's see if I can lose some weight <laughs> maybe I'll put some ice cream in there make some kind of mojitos try and help with the weight problem uh, it's, it's okay I'm happy with it I can understand why it might not break up ice we didn't try that. Um.